Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. Happy last day to the seniors and stay strong, underclassmen. Only one more wake up. Today we'll hear about band instruments, the recycling initiative, opportunities at the FHS pool, gotcha, and graduation. But for now, it's time for weather with Ivan. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. I'm on top of Case Arena. Wow. So today's going to be a half 80 and a low of 56. It's currently 57 degrees with some light fog. And at lunch, it's going to be 69 degrees and it's going to be mostly sunny. And at 3, it's going to be 76 and it's going to be sunny. And tomorrow's going to be high of 83 and a low 59 since I'm not doing weather tomorrow since... There's no announcements tomorrow. And for graduation, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 85 and a low of 67. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. Crash freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will meet in one of the small collaboration space rooms today during community. Any band students with a school instrument needs to bring it back to school and check it in with Mr. Hutton. Next school year, Student Council will be starting a new recycling initiative by collecting plastic caps and lids to make a bench that will be displayed at the school. Except, acceptable lids include Cool Whip container lids, coffee can lids, cream cheese container lids, and butter container lids. Prescription bottles with the label removed are also acceptable. Frankfurt High School Swimming and Diving will be offering swim lessons at the Frankfurt High School pool beginning May 28th. Students need to stop by the nurse's office during fifth period beginning today to pick up any medication that was brought in this school year. Any medication not picked up by tomorrow will be destroyed. All FHS girls, be sure to check out the Gotcha Summer Camp. Gotcha is a camp only for girls week long where you can experience working on cars, constructing things from wood, and welding metal. The camp is June 18th through the 22nd from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with lunch provided. Online registration is available. Just check out one of the flyers posted around the school. With any questions, see Mr. Blunt, Mr. Munier, or Mr. Smith. Now let's send it to sports with Nick. Thanks. In regional action, Nayeli Alanis rebroke the school record in the preliminaries with a time of 15.28 seconds in the 100 meter hurdles. This time took her all the way to the finals where she placed seventh after running the 100 meter hurdles in 15.37 seconds. She also placed 12th in the 300 meter hurdles. Unfortunately, Kenya Garcia wasn't able to make the finals, but she gave it her best shot, placing 15th with a discus throw of 108.7. Congratulations on the great seasons to both of you, and hopefully you guys go on to do great things. In varsity golf action, the team fell Northwestern 180 to 182. Jay Whitlock shot a 43. Simon Weber, Riley Romanski, and Casey Klez all shot 45s. The JV team also fell at Northwestern by a score of 205 to 233. Camden Caesar shot 45, Ramsey Mitchell a 50, and then Reese Mitchell and Sam Wilson both shot 53s. The golf team's next match will be tomorrow at 4 o'clock as they prepare for the Clinton County Invitational. Good luck to all of you. A good luck to the Boys Varsity Baseball team as well as they prepare for their sectional tonight. And also, before I go, I'd like to say congratulations to all the seniors that will be graduating soon behind me here at this wonderful setup. So, congratulations to all of you, and that's it for sports. So, back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. Mr. Payton's community needs to meet in K Serena today. Reminder to all seniors, you'll need to be meeting in K Serena by 7.30 a.m. tomorrow for a class of 2018 group photo. Enter through door 27. Attention all students, graduation is this Saturday at 10 a.m. That's all for the daily announcements. Thank you for, for tuning in one last time and for supporting the HGTV team this year. We hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and an amazing summer break. This has been a Wish Dallas a Happy Birthday, or actually, Just Ask Him, production.